Hey guys, it's your girl Sin. Welcome back to my channel. So today's look is going to be on this curly pineapple updo. I was sent some products by Jamaican Mango and Lime and I wanted to go ahead and use the products to show you guys how to create this look. Stay tuned. First I'm going to go ahead and use the coconut milk and honey shampoo. What I love about this shampoo is that it smells just like coconuts and I love coconuts. So I'm going to go ahead and place that in my hand and then I'm going to go ahead and lather that into my hair. What I also love about this shampoo is that it actually clarifies your hair. So it's a clarifying shampoo and it also smells amazing. So I'm absolutely obsessed with them. Um, I'm so happy to be working with the company because I have worked with the company before in the past and they're absolutely amazing so make sure you guys check them out the next step I'm gonna go ahead and use this detangler which is the coconut milk um, conditioner this spray conditioner smells so good <laughs> and also I love that it has a nozzle so I can go ahead and spray the conditioner into my hair this is a leave-in conditioner but this is the only leave-in conditioner that actually detangles my hair so I'm gonna go ahead and put that all over my hair as well and make sure I'm getting to the root of my hair the next product I'm going to be using from Jamaica Mango Line is the Coconut Buttercream. This is also a conditioner, but this is more of a thicker conditioner. I love this conditioner because this is the conditioner that actually gets my hair pretty, pretty soft. Um, I'm going to show you guys right here, like just me spiraling and doing a curl. It actually keeps my hair really, really soft. Even after washing it out, my hair is extremely soft. Um, I love these products because they are natural products. Also, these products are paraben-free, mineral-free, and silicone-free, as well as sulfate-free. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and just detangle my hair. Like I said, this product, the buttercream product, just gets my hair really soft. And it just pops, makes my curls pop. So I love that product. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the towel off my hair because I did do my makeup before I went ahead and started out my hair. So this is my hair in its natural state and right now I'm going to go ahead and put it into a high ponytail. So now I'm going to go ahead and take a hard bristle brush and I'm going to go ahead and just brush my hair all the way to the front of my head. Um, my hair is pretty thick so I'm just taking a while to get my hair in a ponytail so I'm going to go ahead and just brush out my hair. Now I'm using the Jamaican Mango Lime Curling Gel. I'm obsessed with this gel. The reason why I'm obsessed with this gel is because it does not leave your hair crunchy. Ugh. I hate gels that keep your hair crunchy, but this gel does not. This gel actually keeps my hair pretty soft, and it's it smells. Oh my god, the entire line smells so good. I I'm, I just can't go. I get over how it smells so good. Like it's so good, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a ponytail holder and go ahead and place my hair in a ponytail, like really, really high. Here we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and create my curls. So using that curling gel from Jamaican Mango and Lime, I'm going to go ahead and do a finger curl. And this is how my hair looks after doing a finger curl. I did dampen my hair just a little bit with a um, bottle of water because my hair was getting a little bit dry. So um, I did um, wet my hair just a little bit so just to activate my curls back. Um, so I'm using that gel, that, that um, curling gel to go ahead and define my curls. Like I said before, this gel is not crunchy and it actually keeps my curls really, really soft. So this is me just taking the gel in my hands, rubbing my hands together and just picking random spots and just finger curling them. I like to do this style on my wash days um, because it's just an easy style and it does last me the whole week. And this is a certain style that once it gets well older or just like throughout the week, the curls do define even more. And if you want, you can take a diffuser and you know place it underneath your curls so just to diffuse the curls a little bit. But I just don't do that because after a couple of days, my hair, well, my curls will pop even more. So this is just me taking random spots and just you know curling them. Um, you don't have to be so specific. They just take random spots and just start to finger coil. Um, this. This is me scrunching up my hair just to make it just a little bit more fuller and just to scrunch up the curls just a little bit. Um, 
of course you guys know about shrinkage <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just finger curl it so that during the week it looks really really fresh and also looks 10 times better during the week Now using the same curling gel, I'm going to go ahead and do my baby hairs just a little bit. I'm not going to do a lot of baby hairs because obviously you can't see it underneath my curls, but I'm just going to go ahead and do the sides. And I do this for every single style. I love baby hairs. I know they say you're too grown for baby hairs, not baby. <laughs> I gotta have my baby hairs and I'm very specific with them, so it's going to take me a while to like get them in place. But after I get them in place, this is going to be the final look. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to click the bell so you guys can be notified when I upload a video. So I'll see you guys in a new video. Bye, guys.